hi everyone in this video we are going to build a simple bottle filling machine with our Arduino PLC open PLC and node red let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos okay so we have our circuit here at our output we have a buzzer we have yellow lamp we have the pump that is going to pump the product into the bottles and then we have a green lamp indicating the pump is running they are all supplied with 12 volts and then at the input side we have a start push button and then we have a bottle filling sensor in this sensor we need to level shift the signal a bit so we have so we have a converter circuit right there a voltage regulator a transistor and then two resistors if you have an industrial sensor that can handle 10 to 12 volts then you are good to go with it directly okay so we look at our assembly quickly we have the pump we connect to the hose that leads to where the bottle is and then we drop it into the reservoir we are going to keep our product okay power supply to it and then this is the whole connection to where the product will be discharged into the bottle okay so now let's look at the setup complete setup we have the start push button we have the sensor cable connected to the bottle sensor which is mounted right there we have the green lamp to indicate the pump is running yellow lamp to indicate we are done filling and then we have those relays that are going to control their output devices we have this cable that will be connected to our raspberry pi okay so we have the tube or the pipe that is connected and then the power supply cable to the system okay so now let's look at our logics quickly in open plc editor i've created a project bottle filling machine and then this is the logics now let's look at our variables quickly we have our stats we have our stat which is assigned to input 0.1 we have our sensor the sensor is supposed to detect whenever we place a bottle in the machine we have a pump to pump the product into the bottle we have a buzzer to give us a sound whenever we finish filling the bottle and then we have the mb stats that is the mod bus stats command for mod bus and it's assigned to 0 0.4 we have calibration in case we need to calibrate you select this bit and this will trigger 0 0.5 and send the system into calibration mode we have the bottle enable this is supposed to send enable bits to the ui so that we'll be able to know whether there is bottle in the system or not and then we have our word variables we have our time value time taken for the bottle to fill up and then the maximum set point that is the maximum time immediately this value is rich the counter needs to stop or the timer needs to stop and then we have a count value because we need to be able to count the number of bottles that we filled okay now let's look at the logic quickly we have a set reset and remember i'm using a reset set because i want the set the reset to have priority over the set okay when the start button is pressed provided there is a bottle this section closes and then the provided you've not selected calibration bits here is also closed and then our flip-flop is set the pump then comes on okay now we have now we have two timers we have one on delay timer and then off delay timer now we can see that this timers are configured to generate pulses and we have 500 milliseconds for this timer and then 500 for this very timer as well and then we can see that timer 2 output is assigned to the input of timer 1 and timer 1 output is assigned to the input of timer 2 that is a normally closed input so provided this timer comes on this output comes on here is off and then this timer will also start timing so in between that will be generating pulses and then we have a counter here 
that will be counting this pulses generated by this timer provided the pump is running and then it will serve as a timer because you need to count the maximum value so if it's 11 seconds it counts up to 11 seconds and then the output becomes 11 and then we then need to reset this counter and we can see that the output of the counter is used to reset the the counter okay we also do a monitoring of these two value that is the time value and then time max to a greater than or equal to comparator and then when this output comes on we set another flip flop to stop the filling and then turn on the buzzer and we can see that because this particular timer at the top the first timer is connected here and is generating pulses we will have the buzzer flashing on off on off and then also we have this rank that sends the status of the sensor to this particular output for us to be able to read it through the mod bus and then finally we have this counter that we use to count the number of bottles so provided this particular set reset is active we know that the filling is over and then we increment this counter by one so that we know that we, we finish one bottle filling and then we start the next process and then we can see that this reset bit is also connected to the set reset that is running the pump so so far as this comes on the pump is reset and then it goes off during calibration whenever you activate the calibration bit then here becomes true this section is also true and then when i press the start bit we have signal going directly to the pump to pick so that's basically how this logic will work i click on the simulation so that we do a quick simulation okay so we can now put on the goggles so that we can simulate so we can see the status and we can see the timers creating the pauses that we were talking about and then when i press the start button but first i need to make sure that there's bottles so i have to force this one to true so this is prepared and then i press the start button remember i have to press it off again turn it off and we can see the timer coming and then the counter starts counting immediately hits 11 it stops the pump so we can see the pump is stopped and we can see the flashing happening perfect and then the reset bit is active and we can see that the bottle counter have counted that we filled one bottle and the reset is constantly on and this will stay on till we take the full bottle off so i need to force this one off then the system knows that I've taken the bottle off. I can now start a new filling. So I'll do another filling quickly. True. And I send it to false. And let's see the counter counting. Eight, nine. Perfect. We can see it happening again. And let's see our counter is now showing two okay good our system is running perfectly so i'll click on the stop and then i will click on the arduino button to download this into our arduino plc so my port is port 3 we have the arduino you need to enable modbus and then you click on the upload okay great so we have our node red and this are the nodes that we've set it up for our ui interface between node red and then the arduino plc and they are communicating basically via mod bars so we have our mod bars nodes so we have our read filling time set point so this basically reads the set point and then we can then read the set point using this particular ui interface node so when we double click on it we can see that we have a name read filling time set point the unit is one and then our fc is fc3 we'll be reading the holding register the address is one 
and then the quantity of data that we are reading from this register is a word which is only one address within this register that we are reading our polling rate is two seconds we now move on and this is linked to the display node is basically displaying the data that will be fetching from the mod bars so we can see that it's assigned to the bottle machine main page the label is filling time it's a point and then look at our payload just as we did in the previous one so payload dot data because that is the data that we'll be receiving from this particular array the next thing that we need to fetch is the pv so whilst we set we give this a point we need to be able to achieve it which is our pv so we do a similar setup for the pv the address is zero the unit id is so one the quantity of data that we are fetching is one and then our pull rate is two seconds and then we are still connected to the server the same arduino plc server Great. so that's that for the filling and we do similar thing read with a different label tag and then the this is the description and then the data type okay and then we have a look at uh, counter value so basically whilst we fill the bottle we should be able to count the number of bottles that we filled just as we saw in our logic so here we have a read counter value and then the fc is still three because we are reading a holding register the address is two and then the quantity will be reading is one and then the pulling rate is still two and we are still fetching it from the same server okay great so we have this mod bus response that is reading the data for us so we can see physically that uh, data within the register now is zero here and then the one within this particular register is, is one and then we have this particular node that is a ui node that will display the number of bottles that we filled for us okay so from our system we should be able to send the type of bottle that we need to fill and this particular node is supposed to do that that is the right node from the mod bus so we call it the send filling set point unit id is one and then the fc that we'll be using is six preset single register and then we'll be sending it to address one and then still fetch, uh, get the data from the arduino plc server okay now let's look at the things that are inputting or sending data to this particular node so we have our 500 ml interface and then from here the label is 500 and then the payload now after calibrating and then you know the amount of seconds that it needs to fill the bottle you need to specify it right here for the 500 ml bottle per the calibration i had 11 for filling it 11 seconds to fill it so you do just that and that is going to be your payload you leave the topic as such and then let's look at the 750 ml 750 ml and then we have 16 seconds to fill a 760 ml bottle and then all the settings just remains the just like the previous one that previous 500 ml click done and then you should be able to also calibrate so this is the calibration selector when you select when you turn it on we send logic one and then when you turn it off it sends logic zero to it and this is basically the setup for it and remember it needs to be a number in all the cases and then this is sent to this particular send car command so that we can activate the calibration mode in the plc and then this section when you activate the calibration mode you need to change the filling set point to a, max, a, a bigger value so i send it to 20 whenever the calibration is activated so that i will get room to determine at what point this will be filled and that will be filled now we have our start button right here so we have start and the payload that we are sending is one whenever it's pressed on screen the topic still remains the same and then when it's pressed remember what we did in the previous tutorial we'll use this trigger node 
to send one whenever it's pressed and then we wait for two seconds and then we send a zero okay great and then this is the modbus node that is sending it and is sending it to address four in our plc okay so we have our final node which is this very one it reads the status of the bottle whether the bottle is a bottle is in position or not okay so we read from address six the quantity we are reading is one and then the pulling is two okay and we connect it to this particular uh, interface node so that we can see the interface on the ui so with all this done what you need to do now is to now change it this particular section to dashboard and then we can see that we have our dashboard you can rearrange them if you want so i hit on this so that i will launch the interface and basically this is how the interface looks like currently by default it's always selected 500 ml we can see the 500 ml in sub point is sent which is 11 seconds and then when i select the 700 we can see that it has changed to 16 seconds okay now i have no bottle so if i press the start it shouldn't start because we can see that the bottle interface is showing false it needs to be true before it will accept a start command okay we can see there is a bottle so the bottle state indicates true i take it off and we have to wait for some time we can see it goes back to false and then when we place it back it comes back to true okay good we can now move on and then do our settings so we select 500 ml which is 11 we can see it's indicating 11 seconds and then we press on the start and then we can see the relay has picked but now the pump is not powered so we are just monitoring only the filling process with our product okay we can see it's done and then we can see the led flashing when i take it off we can see the counters increment to two i bring it back and now we can do a test with product so i put uh, 750 ml and then click on it we can see it has changed to 16 we can click on the start and then the filling starts we need to wait for 16 seconds and we can see the pv counting down sorry counting up okay filling is done and we can see it stopped right there okay i select 500 ml now and then click on the start again there's a 500 ml bottle in there mm -hmm. filling starts we can see the counter moving on okay so we are there we can see the yellow lamp flashing unfortunately i don't have a buzzer so we can only see the yellow lamp flashing okay we do another 500 ml filling again this time we are going to do manual filling so we press the start button from the board we can see it started and then fill in we can see the pv incrementing okay it's there it has stopped and then we can see it flashing indicating that the bottle is filled we take it off and then our bottle counter increments to three we fill the next bottle quickly we press the start button again Okay, we can see it's incrementing. Okay, is there now the yellow lamp flashes and we can see the filling has stopped. We take it off and then we can see the level is almost close. It's perfectly accurate. Okay, good. Viewers, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.